Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. I'm going to be sharing with you guys November 2018's Boxy Charm. If you guys are interested in seeing what's in this little black box and how I use all the products to create this beautiful look, just keep on watching. Come on! So you guys, I already went ahead and put on like my face makeup and everything. I'm just going to start off using the shadow palette from Ace Beauty. This is a Grand Dose palette. Um, I like the packaging. I think it's really cute. I think it's nice and like small and compact. So you definitely can throw this in your purse or even a clutch to be honest with you. You could throw it in there. Um, I like the shade range. It's very, very, very me. Very warm. I love it does have like a flat kind of lighter shade you guys know I like it's like a base it has a cute shimmers I mean well it has a few shoot cute shimmers shoot shimmers what the heck it has a few cute shimmers um primrose myrtle and jasmine those are nice I really like that shade cinnamon that's like a like a warm transition shade and poppy I love those types of shades you guys know I love those like burgundy tones and clove that's a really nice shade I really want to use rose today I always like want to gravitate towards these shades right in here but I want to play around with this so I'm just gonna try something fun and see what I come up with right now on a elf small tapered brush I went ahead and put the shade patchouli which is that lighter kind of flat matte shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over my lid just to set that concealer that's on my lid. I did use the Tarte Shape Tape in the color tan sand to clean up my brows and all over my lid at the base. So I'm just going to set that. And this larger brush just allows me to get the entire surface of my eye quickly. So with the Morphe E27, I think what I'm going to do first is go into the shade Clove. And I'm going to apply this as a transition I don't like it it doesn't have a mirror but that's fine I'll go ahead and I'll use something else so this shade is pigmented I wasn't expecting it to be as pigmented as it is so I'm really happy about that and it's blending out very nicely. So I'm going to do one eye on camera for you guys. And then I'll do the other eye. And then I'll come back and put the lashes on. Just so I can save time so the video is not super long. I'm going to take a clean M439 by Morphe. And I'm going to take that shade Cinnamon. And I'm going to apply this into the crease. And again, this does not have a mirror so. Now with the Morphe M514, I'm taking that burgundy shade Poppy and I'm going to apply that into the crease but just a little lower. And I keep trying to use this as a mirror and that's so frustrating that it doesn't have a mirror. So I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand and I'm going to use this to cut the crease. And I'm also going to be using the Real Techniques. This is like one of their uh, fan lip brushes but I really like to use it to cut the crease because it's so thin and it gets a nice clean sharp line.
Y'all know I'm always messing up and I could have been using these brushes. So I, I'm always doing that. I don't know why I do that. They're sitting right in front of me and I'm not even using them. But I'm definitely going to use this one right here. Actually, I'm going to take this one right here. This is from Luxie. This is a one for one mini round brush. And I'm going to apply this on top. the Lux Mini Angled Brush and I'm gonna go back into that burgundy shade and I'm just gonna clean up that outer V and kind of just blend up those shades a little bit together. So, so far I'm really liking how this is turning out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Lux brush in number 111 it's their mini flat angled brush and i think i'm gonna go ahead and spray this brush and pick up that shade jasmine and i'm gonna apply this into the inner tear duct now i'm gonna go back into that shade poppy and i'm gonna apply that on the lower lash line and then closer to the inner v i'm going to pick up that shade rose um, that I applied all over the lid. I'm going to apply that in to that area Okay, so so far I like how this look I like how this looks I want to go ahead I'm gonna complete the rest of the eye on this side and I will be back so now I do want to try this glitter liner. This is from John to blue I'm probably butchering that but I'm going to try their Glitter Star Eyeliner. Um, I didn't really want to do much up top, to be honest with you. I kind of wanted to keep this look like pretty natural, but I'm just going to line the lash line. Well, natural, that's so, that's such the wrong word. Natural is not the, the word. I just wanted to uh, not add so much depth into the waterline. So I'm just going to line it. I'm not going to do a wing or anything. I think the glitter is super pretty. So I'm going to coat my lashes with some mascara. I'm just using the Superhero from IT Cosmetics. This was in my last month's Boxy Charm, And I think it's pretty good. So for lashes, I'm going to be using the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes in the style Instaglam, I believe. These lashes do retail for $14.99. If I'm wrong about the style, I'll definitely leave it down in the description box below. But I'm loving the packaging. It definitely goes along with this month's BoxyCharm theme gold digger. So they're super cute. They have that gold shimmer on the sides of the box. And I just like these little boxes to house my um, lashes back when I'm done with them. So it makes it seem like you're getting a cute little treat and it just makes it a little bit more luxurious. So I like the box. I like how it has with Instagram, um, social media followings, website, and all of that good stuff on there. You guys have seen me apply lashes so many times. So I just want to show you guys what it looks like with just mascara and now with the lashes. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed this month's boxy charm. The gold digger theme was super cute. You guys know I love gold. So that was right up my alley. The only thing I didn't get an opportunity to try on in camera, um, but I did put it on, was the Cover FX Gold Drops. I love these glitter gold drops. Well, they're not glitter gold drops, but it looks gold. So I keep calling it glitter gold drops, and it goes with the gold theme. But these are called the Cover FX Glitter Drops. They, I mean, this does retail for $44, but it has so much product in it. I highly doubt you'll use all of this, like, within the lifespan that it has unless you're like one that's super super in love with glitter and does it every day um you can use this underneath your makeup or on top of it 
if you want to it's super versatile you can use it on your body there's so many things you can use it for I personally will be using this for my body this is super cute if you're gonna go out at night and you just want to add a little bit of extra you have a boom to your shoulders or collarbone or whatever um, it's also really nice for like the beach I love how it hits the sun and it just looks super super nice it doesn't really add any kind of pigmentation or color to the skin but um, it does leave behind a nice glow nice shimmer and some glitter so I think it's really really cute I like that again that did retail for $44 the entire box this month did retail for $109.98 so about $110 total for the entire box I will be listing um, the prices when I like show you the product, I'll list the price there so you guys can get an idea of what each of the products did cost. But I am going to go over what I thought of each product um, individually and my final thoughts and all that good stuff. Obviously, I said I liked it so you guys know I like it, but I just want to give you guys an idea of how I feel about the everything individually. Now, I told you already about the cover FX drops and how I liked those and I'll be continuing to use it. The next thing on here is going to be the Ace Beauty palette. I really, 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 really like this palette. It does retail for $24.99 and I think it's honestly worth the money. The only thing that I have to say as a con is I wish they would have just opt out of the extra sleeve like that whatever it cost for the unicart of like the sleeve and gave us the freaking mirror inside because it is there's like so many shades in here and so many looks you can create but without a mirror I'm not saying that I don't want to pick up this palette it's just I'm going to be picking up this palette and I either have to be already in front of a mirror or I need to pick up something else so that's kind of an inconvenience I really don't need this I wish they would have just saved the money um, and not did this and just did this because I know they have to have like something to cover it I guess when they're selling it but I mean they I, I just don't understand I just don't want this but the palette overall is gorgeous I love it created this beautiful look I'm definitely gonna continue to use this palette I feel like the swatches came out nice it just was it blended beautifully it was just an amazing palette and I'm super happy that I got to try it out I haven't heard of Ace Beauty which is super crazy but I mean I'm definitely going to be checking them out now the next thing are the Lexi brushes I did get a chance to use all of the Lexi brushes I know I was a little bit late on using them but I did get an opportunity to use all of them I love the gold you guys know I love this I'm definitely going to um, keep these and use them because they were nice and soft they blended well um, they're not your typical um, brush like your MAC for M4 I'm not Mac uh, Morphe M433 that you would use to like blend out but they definitely are where's the other two well the other two are somewhere around here but I mean you can definitely get good use out of this it's just not they're not large fluffy brushes anything to blend out with or anything crazy like that this is probably the best one you're gonna be able to blend out with and that's gonna be like an outer V or something like that but I will use these I like them super cute and I think they're great they did retail for $21 so I think that was a great job I mean just purchasing the box alone and getting those brushes that I liked you are winning already because that's equivalent and just the cover effects drops are 44 so think about purchasing you're getting a lot more than what you're paying for so if you don't like something in the box it's okay because you still got your money's worth now the next product I'm going to talk to you guys about is the eyeliner this is the jolt to blue eyeliner it's the glitter star eyeliner um, I really like this eyeliner for five dollars I definitely recommend it um, it it came on like really nice I didn't have any problem with the smudging the glitter was definitely noticeable which is what you're ultimately going for um, I did notice that if you kind of like flicked it flicked it a little bit you can kind of dust off some of that glitter if say for instance you wanted the pigmentation because it is really dark oh it is really dark but um Again, what if you didn't want the glitter? So you can use it both ways, but it's $5. So, I mean, I definitely would give it a try. Super, super, super good. And it applied to OK in the waterline. It didn't, it's not my best. 
it's not my favorite or anything like that, but it did a pretty good job for $5. Now the last thing in the BoxyCharm box that I received are the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. These lashes are super cute. They're definitely an everyday lash. I think this look is a little bit too much for these lashes. Um, but I think these are really nice and I definitely can see myself wearing these with like a no makeup makeup look or like just foundation, concealer, no eyeshadow and maybe like some liner and lip gloss. So I really like these lashes. I definitely will be using them again. They do retail for $14.99 and I just think the packaging was absolutely gorgeous. Again, this one's BoxyCharm was a success. Super happy with it. So if you guys haven't tried out BoxyCharm and are interested in purchasing it, it is a monthly subscription. I will have a link down in the description box below if you guys are interested in it. It is um, five to six full products for $21 a month, which is really amazing because as you guys seen, I got $109 worth of stuff in here for $21 so it's definitely a still and I definitely recommend everybody to try it out at least for one month if you're a makeup like junkie like me or if you're just getting into makeup and wanting to try out some new stuff this is a great way to do that if you guys are interested in any of these products again like I said I will list the Boxy Charm link down below so you guys can check them out I'm gonna list the prices um, I already mentioned the prices so if you guys have any questions do leave them down in the comment box below I love you guys I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with somebody who might find it useful and I will see all of you guys in my next video bye y'all